What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of review for Bleach: The Thousand Year Blood War. Uh, this is episode thirty, and with me, as always, I have Blue Spade. Yeah. So after that last episode, and uh, you know, in which the the what was it, the Soul King's right arm is somehow maintaining, you know, the Soul King himself. You have, uh, of course, you know, is taken surprised by this because he, you know, he he didn't anticipate this even with his, you know, premonition ability. So now, like, um, you know, well, with the with Ichigo, uh, he he's able to you know he's he's able to break free from uh, whatever that like uh, that Quincy like curse whatever that was when he was touching uh, Yuha Box sword to keep y- Yuha Yuha busy while uh, uh, Yuroichi sets up a barrier around the Soul King to you know keep his body stable, but then of course uh, that's when Udio steps in and you know pretty much ru- ruins the whole process. To, to allow uh, Yuabog to to go after the Soul King again. Yeah, and and they've been teasing this confrontation with uh, Ichigo and Uryu from pretty much since uh, I would say since part one or at least the latter half of part one, um, or I guess really part two. Once you know that they even discovered that Uryu had betrayed them, uh, so yeah, we finally get a, a, a the I guess the long awaited fight between. Uh, Ichigo and Uryu in this episode, uh, and it was it was pretty good. I, I thought you know animation wise it was it was it was really good. Um, I you know Uryu basically shows how I guess how powerful he's gotten, uh, and he's he's kind of able to overwhelm Ichigo at at quite a few in quite a few instances. But then at the same time Ichigo is also holding back because he doesn't want to he he doesn't want to kill Uryu, um, but Uryu is pretty determined to to do whatever it takes uh i guess for you know and his uh with his own justification uh his justification is that he's trying to wipe out the the uh uh the shinigami and you know save save the quincy's or you know save him his own race um but it, it it's kind of it's like i was kind of expecting that ori was going to reveal that he learned some he found some new revelation about the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the I guess the um, the genocide of the Quincy's or something that we we already knew about this obviously uh, once Uryu was originally introduced in the series about the Quincy genocide uh, like he talked about that when they first introduced his character and all the way back in the original series so I was hoping that maybe they were going to reveal something new that he found that made him you know made him really like switch sides like he did. But I was kind of disappointed because he it doesn't really seem like he gave like you know we'd really get any new information about it uh, other than the stuff with you you yeah um yeah Uryu is like pretty vague of why he decided to join you um uh, just right off the bat I mean we we've seen we've seen him like uh, looking through uh his dad's uh notes and his you know like I guess that uh, what was it that book that told him the history of the uh, you know of the rivalry between the sh- of the Shinigami and the Quincy's. Um, but I, I still feel like there's, there's a little bit more to this uh, because uh, I don't know if they really explain this, but I think uh, Uryu's mother um, ended up dying because of what Yuhaba did um, when he was being revived at the time. So Well, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they kind of go over it in part one uh, with um, the, uh, I think it was the Ashwalan uh, that, that I uh, killed some of the, I guess, killed some of the Quincy's in order to give uh, Yuhaba power. Yeah, I mean, you, but it's, yeah, you think like, you know, Udiu would have taken that. I, I think Udiu knows about this, but he's, he's, uh, he's still playing coy about like, you know, about his uh, current allegiances as of right now. Yeah, what was interesting though is that during their fight at one point, uh, Ichigo uses the, I think it was called a uh, uh, loot vein. Uh, to like defend himself, and uh, this shocks Uryu because obviously it's a it's a Quincy technique. So Uryu did not know that that Ichigo was also part Quincy. Uh, so he he seems to be shocked by this revelation, but it still doesn't really shake his resolve too much to pretty much try to kill Ichigo. Yeah. So so pretty much the entire episode is just the fight between Ichigo and uh, Uryu, and of course there are a few instances in which we see. Uh, um, you know, s- some of the other characters here here and there, but we barely even get to see see them. Well, we, we, see- we see what's happening with Uketake uh, back in 
R and D and I guess how um uh, like basically that uh, Yuhaba is like trying to break through the defensive barrier that uh, Yoroichi had created in order to get to the Soul King and basically like how it's affecting Ukitake because now his his body is technically I guess an extension of the Soul King or the Soul King's right arm. Yeah. So yeah, so it looks like things aren't going too well for Ukitake though. Uh, the more that that you walk breaks through the barrier. Yeah, so, and and what was it? Chad Ganju and Orohime are 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 trying to get get Yuhaba away, but of course, uh, you know the the other Quincy show up, uh, you know to to stop them from interrupting him. And it lo- it looks like they they're trying to hold hold their own, own against them, but it seems like they're still a little bit out, outmatched against them. Yeah, I, I, I un- unfortunately I highly doubt any of and really any one of them could stand up to uh, to any of the uh, the Stern Ritter. Um, I mean, Orihime is more just a healer. I mean, she does technically have offensive abilities, but it's not really going to do much. Uh, and Chad is just like there's just a running joke with Chad where he just he he basically gets his ass kicked for, throughout most of the series, even though he 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 does have a few victories, but like he usually gets. He he usually doesn't, um, you know, he doesn't really get the upper hand in most fights. Um, so I I can't really see Chad holding his own against really any of the Stern Ritter. Yeah. Um. So yeah, things aren't really looking good for them either. Yeah. Um. And uh. Yeah. So basically, with the the fight with um, uh, Ichigo and Oryu, uh, eventually, uh, Oryu reveals. I think it was uh, what what was it called? It was like the uh. Like, uh, the he, I guess the sprouts, Quincy equivalent of a bonkai. Um, yeah, he, the, it's pretty much he sprouts wings in his back, and then he yeah he, he controls like uh, the various amounts of uh, of arrows, projectiles towards towards Ichigo. Um, pre- pretty much injuring. Well, Ichigo like you know is able to hold his own for a little bit before it starts o- overwhelming him, and then by the end of the fight, uh, before uh, Ichigo can land his uh, final blow uh, on Uryu. Uryu just like you know, you know, takes a shot at him and it just blows another hole onto Ichigo's side. Yeah, I mean, there was a point where Ichigo could have actually hit Uryu uh, with, I, I think it was Getsuga Jisho, uh, but he it looks like he intentionally missed Uryu. So then Uryu just stri- just counterattacks with, uh, you know, yeah, with that maneuver and and just blows a hole through him yeah I, I thought it was funny too because as i mentioned before we started recording there there was a point in the original series where you know rangiku was supposed to have a whole blown uh cut through her as well in the fake karakura town arc but that was censored so now you know i guess now that bleach is uncensored we actually see i guess you know what was supposed to happen in some of these fights with some of the characters like ichigo like you know, I, I wonder if if this was airing like during the original series like how it would have you know probably would have been censored to some extent uh we wouldn't actually probably see like ichigo have a whole blow through uh, blown through him like that yeah um, i mean we, we did see like um uh, ukiyora um yeah well, ukiyora also. did do that to him at least during their fight um so i mean you know maybe not as graphic but yeah i mean we, we've seen something similar i guess in the original series but but here, you know, they're, they can't, they don't really have to hold back with how graphic it gets. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, the ep- well, the the actual ending to this episode is, of course, the post credit ending, which shows uh, Yuhaba uh, completely breaks the Soul King crystal and absorbs both uh, the Soul King's right arm and the entire body itself. Pretty and uh, pretty much uh, like uh, sprouting even more eyes uh, on top of his face by the en- by the end of the episode. Yeah, so now I guess Yuhaba technically has the power of the Soul King as well. Um, so yeah, I mean he's he, I, which I think isn't really a much of a spoiler, but I heard the the power he has now is called the Almighty. So yeah, I mean he's he's pretty you know, he's he's definitely powered up to a significant degree. Um, yeah, so I mean they definitely are going to probably need Eisen at this rate um, to even try to stop him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, things aren't really looking so good. Uh, I I am wondering though, like when some of the uh, some of the other characters that have been teased are going to show up. Like you know, obviously we saw like the opening did kind of spoiler uh, spoil that um, you know s- some of the that are there are going to be some returning characters like Rim Jow. Um So I'm I'm expecting at some point they're probably going to join the fight. I'm just not exactly sure what you know how or what they're going to do. Yeah. Um, 
Like I, th- right. I think a couple more Iron Car are gonna show up. I think one. Of yeah, them, like one of them, like Nell, I think is, yeah. is supposed to show up. Yeah, and and of course uh, some of the other Stern Ritters are also gonna be involved in the upcoming battle too. So we'll we'll have to see what where it goes. But yeah, it's it, it was a pretty fast paced episode, um, mainly focusing on the fight between the initial fight between uh, uh, ich- Ichigo and Uryu for for this episode. But I I do feel like mm-hmm. this is not the end of their fight. Uh, you know, for I guess for this season in particular. Yeah, I mean it is called the conflict. Um, so yeah, I mean I expect that obviously it's not over, and Ichigo will probably come back somehow. Then maybe that'll be how one of the, some of the returning characters come back, as they, you know, maybe they like save Ichigo. Like as 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 of the end of this episode, he's just like in free fall, I guess. So I guess it'll save him from falling, uh, or something. But. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see. I thought it was a really good episode. I thought it was definitely, you know, it, I mean, we've we've had quite a few fights already with Ichigo um, in in this part. Like, you know, Ichigo versus uh, y- Yuoba, and then now in this episode, Ichigo versus uh, Uryu. And they, they've both been, like, you know, really impressive. I mean, all, all the fight scenes have just obviously, like, blown anything from the original series out of the water. You know, it's just really crazy to see uh, how how much the animation has improved, uh, you know, compared to how it used to be. Yeah. Um, there, there, there's okay. one thing I did hear uh, earlier this week is that uh, Kubo um, uh, s- s- decided to add, I think uh, he's adding a lot more uh, anime original scenes that were not in the, the original manga. Yeah. I mean, I did hear that apparently, I, I guess later on in, in the, uh, in the in the thousand year blood war anime there is going to be a lot more original like a lot more original content that's going to be added by kubo um so i'm interested to hear about what that is because obviously i haven't read this part in the manga so i'm not really going to know like what what part is or is like anime original and what's not um i i feel i i think i did hear that people saying that the reveal i guess that uh the soul king is yuhaba's father is actually like something that was added into the anime um i don't know if that was in the manga but yeah, like there's because you know, like I, I thought that was pretty interesting that they included that. If that's the case, yeah, um, yeah, I I, but, I, do, I do like that Kubo is adding a lot of these anime original scenes, like like he did with uh you know season seasons one and two, and you know of course it's 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 still a ways off, but I do hope that he expands on the epilogue scene from the uh, from the final volume of the man- manga because I do yeah. feel like the 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 epilogue in the manga felt. Uh, pretty rushed in my opinion because we do get some that, that was the complaint that a lot of people had in the uh, with the manga ending was that I, I guess in the the final fight was pretty rushed and the ending was also rushed so I mean hopefully Kubo yeah like you said does it does expand on that um and I mean I think that's that's probably like one of the major reasons he probably wanted to be involved was that he wanted to I guess you know actually you get in a way have like a second chance at actually like ending bleach the way he probably intended it to or intended it to end as you know because he, he was definitely rushed apparently by i i think it was shonen jump or or, so, or whoever i think like rushed him to basically like finish bleach yeah like he you know he he didn't really want it to end that way but i guess he kind of had to uh but now with the anime he has the opportunity to actually end it on his terms yeah de- most definitely um but yeah, but I am curious of uh, what he is going to be adding for um, for the rest of this season because, uh, li- like you, I I haven't read uh, any this part of the manga. I mean, of course, I did get kind of spoiled at the ending, unfortunately. But yeah, yeah, but but still, like I I am curious of what, what he's going to end up expanding on. I do remember back in season one that uh, that I would that I was hoping that there would be some kind of anime original episode featuring the the first. Uh, you know, Gote 13 uh, back in the day, but it, I'm not sure if, you know, they're, if he's really even going to get to that at this point. Yeah, I think there probably have been a lot more scenes added in that were, that had to do with maybe um, like what happened like hundreds of years ago. Um, but I, I don't know if there there's going to be like a full episode with him going over like the, I guess the old uh, 13 court guard squad or th- yeah, 13 court guard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it would be interesting if he added that stuff in, uh, along with like I guess some stuff that were in you know like the light novels and and uh, some like you know side material. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't really regarding the episode though, I don't really have anything else to say about it. 
uh, I don't know if you have anything else to say. Oh, yeah, it was it was st- still a good episode, but, you know, of course, it felt, felt like it went by pretty quick, uh, especially with just mostly focused on Ichigo and Uryu. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, it was definitely um, worth it to kind of wait for, worth the wait to actually see the, you know, how their fight played out. Um, obviously, like, Ichigo wasn't going to give it his, his all and try to, you know, go go all out against Uryu. So most of the time he w- he was like really trying to avoid hurting Uryu at all, but Uryu was just like dedicated, like you know he he didn't really care if he even probably ended up killing Ichigo. Um, so you know I- Ichigo really wasn't you know giving a hundred percent in that fight. I don't think um, he he was kind of just mostly on the defensive. Um, but yeah, I, I again I thought it was a great episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next one. Uh, And uh, yeah, so that all being said, guys, until next time, we will see you all later.